And Then There Were None is a 1945 Hollywood film directed by French filmmaker René Clair, and it is the first motion picture adaptation of Agatha Christie's famous novel of the same name. And Then There Were None, or Ten Little Indians, is widely considered as Agatha Christie's masterpiece, and according to the author, it was her most difficult book to write. And Then There Were None is about eight strangers who are invited and brought to a small isolated island by an unknown host called Mr. Owen. They are brought into a mansion whose only tenants are two newly hired servants, and their host, Mr. Owen, is absent. The guests are invited to dinner, and they notice that the centerpiece of the table is ten statuettes of Indians in a circle. The male servant puts on a gramophone record, from which a voice accuses all ten of the mansion's inhabitants of murder. Confused and frightened, the guests decide to leave, but the servant informs them that the boat will not return until Monday, and it is only Friday. Then, all ten strangers start getting killed, one by one, by a mysterious murder and a little Indian statue breaks every time someone dies. The strangers have no choice but to work together to find out who the killer is, but can anyone be trusted, as the killer can only be one of them? This picture by René Clair is incredible and is one of the best and one of my personal favorite Old Dark House murder mysteries. And Then There Were None has a stellar knockout cast of Barry Fitzgerald, Walter Houston, Lewis Hayward, Roland Young, June Dupree, Misha Auer, C. Aubrey Smith, Judith Anderson, Richard Hayden, and Queenie Leonard. The best thing about this picture is the mystery and the horror itself, as well as the fantastic performances of the actors. Fitzgerald and Houston steal the show. This film is suspenseful, thrilling, frightening, incredibly engaging, and is an overall terrific fun time. The identity of the mysterious host, Mr. Owen, is even foreshadowed twice in the picture. And Then There Were None won the Golden Leopard and the Best Direction Award at the 1946 Locarno International Film Festival. Agatha Christie's novel has been made into motion pictures a number of times, including Ten Little Indians from 1965, Ten Little Indians from 1974, the Russian Ten Little Negroes from 87, Ten Little Indians from 89, as well as a British TV miniseries from 2015, with each adaptation varying in its characters and locale. It turns out that all the film versions of And Then There Were None were not based on Agatha Christie's novel, but on her very similar play. Christie also changed her original novel's ending of the piece for Renee Clare's film, in order to make the tale less depressing for wartime audiences. Much of the plot of Christie's novel seems to have been inspired by a little-known 1930 play by Owen Davis entitled The Ninth Guest, which also happens to be about people being brought to an island by an unknown host and then being killed off one by one. Columbia Pictures made the film in 1934. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend checking out this fantastic old dark house murder mystery. Thank you for watching guys, and see you next Friday.